All right, people, this is the one. The big eyes. <laughs> this is the James Cameron side. This is one that James Cameron's always wanted to do, but he can't do. He So he gave it up to someone else. He, I think he's producing it. He's not directing it because he's had a choice between Avatar, the sequel to Avatar, and this, or this, and he chose Avatar. So... He put this in the hands of someone he trusts. He's still producing it. This is Alita, Battle Angel, the official trailer here. And this trailer has sparked so much talk, mainly by, because of Alita and her big eyes. The literally big anime eyes, which I like I, I said before in my um, reaction to Ruby that they gave, I heard the explanation. Like, they wanted to incorporate the anime eyes. And the whole like big expression and the like the the thought of the wind the eyes are the windows to your soul something like that they they want to try to capture that in live action here all that I don't know it, if it's done right it can work it's anything can work if done right I mean even. Let's just see this. Let me just see this here. This is, this is the first time seeing the entire trailer. I've only I've seen the images, seen like the still shots and everything. Well, yeah, it is weird. Okay, it is a little disconcerting. But wow. Oh wow! That up to you. It's like porcelain. I, it's like clockwork and porcelain. The, the arms, like I like that. Okay, so yeah, she's a robot, so it's easily explained. Wow, they got, they got the Jew Hunter here. Cool, yeah, I'll, he'll be the Jew Hunter. Like, you gotta need that heart. Whoa. see here Alita oh just it okay at first the eyes did sort of like kind of disconcerting at first but eventually as the thread went on I kind of almost forgot about them I mean there, I, there was still a level of disconcert Disconcertion in me, like what? Why would I like little uncomfortableness, like weirdness there? But yeah, as the movie, as the trailer went on, I kind of was like, I could learn to just let it go, and it became normal. I mean, she is just a, she is, she is a robot, a machine, an android. I'm not nothing against that. I'm just saying, but because she's that, doesn't have to mean she's exactly human. I mean, she can have something to make her really unique or stand out. Grab the hands, the arms. Really, really, actually, I can say the moment when I stopped caring about the eyes is when we saw the arms, like just show everything. It's the work on them is just beautiful. It really looks like porcelain over clockwork gears almost yet it's a more advanced it's and it has like engravings and it's, it's very nice to look at 
and the eyes, they are pretty expressive, I gotta admit. I mean, I, I really don't mind it. Uh, there's obviously some, some cool scenes. I mean, a lot of CGI. We, 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 we had a woman who just took off her her uh, robe to reveal she's a robot with fucking with these big ass swords. So yeah, and <laughs> that interesting scene where I'd even give you my heart. That's sweet, but uh, won't you need that heart for something? I mean, it said when we say we give you your heart and. Uh, when humans say that, it's a metaphor. To literally do that is bad for you, unless you're like an organ donor. <laughs> I'm saying. But, yeah, some scenes looks interesting. It seems like they're trying to capture everything as is, which makes me think that the ending for Alita will be the same. I mean, just a kind of a sad ending where no one goes up there. This might be good. I mean, this might be a very faithful live-action adaptation of a very this 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 is this is one that has a very massive cult following. Really, I mean, has it even been brought over to Blu-ray and DVD? Because okay, I have to be perfectly honest with you all. I have not seen Battle Angel Alita. I actually did see like anime abandons, like Ben Sage's review on it. Or maybe or did I see Battle Angel Alita at one point? And just forgot about it? it... It looks interesting, it's just I mean James Cameron, he's he's good at the visual directing. I mean Avatar. Yeah, say what you will, it's Pocahontas, basically, but... He hyped up the visuals effect, the special effect. That's what he hyped up, and that's the story. Like, you're gonna see all the effects, and you're gonna be like, Wow! Holy moly! And, well... He was right! The effects of Avatar were incredible. The story... Was so obvious, was just so cookie-cutter, but you know what? Simple story... Uh, whatever. I, I can deal with a simple story. In fact, when was the last time we... Uh, before Avatar, when was the last time we heard a, a classic Pocahontas story? Mm hmm. I don't recall. So, yeah. I'll, um... I'm interested. I can... I... I can't wait. What else is there to say? And this trailer was so atmospheric. I love the music they play. It's just... If I could bring out an emotion... This trailer... Made me... Melancholy. That's the best I can say. So, everyone, thank you for watching. Um... Comment down below what you all thought, like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, this is Mekasan, logging out.